How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and I'm here with Danny Orr, the general manager of performance running at New Balance. And Danny, what do we have here today? There is a lot of cushioning in my hand. We've got the Fuel Cell Super Comp Trainer or the SC Trainer. What was the inspiration behind this shoe? What do we got going here? Yeah, Connor, all I would say to you is that this is a wild one. You know, I think um, when, we, when we were thinking about it and talking about it, you know, the, the whole notion of this shoe is can we absolutely maximize the energy storage and energy return for this consumer to maximize performance. We've gone to wild heights. We've added a new proprietary technology into the midsole that we'll definitely get to talk about. But this shoe is special, man. It's an update to the Fuel Cell TC, um, which I know a lot of your consumers have, have really, really loved. But I think we've taken that TC and we've really, really pushed it into a totally new place when we talk about the Supercomp Trainer. Well, I'm really excited to hear what went into building this shoe, but before we dive too in depth, I want to take a step back. I hear this super comp term getting thrown around. We're seeing SC in a lot of new product. What does super comp mean for New Balance? Isn't it a great word? Isn't it such a nice way of like illustrating what we're doing in competition today, like super competition footwear? And that's really what we're talking about when we talk about the line of super comp shoes. We've heard from our consumers that they struggled to understand a little bit within our collection which shoes had carbon fiber in the midsole and which shoes did not. So we've decided to add the Super Comp moniker to Fuel Cell. So anything with Fuel Cell Super Comp in the name will have carbon fiber in the midsole. You and I got together a few months ago to talk about the MDX and some of our track spikes. The future versions of those will be Fuel Cell Super Comp MDX and we'll use Super Comp in shoes like this, uh, an interesting shoe we'll talk about just now in the Pacer and in future RC Elites and things like that. Well, New Balance is really pushing the line in the competition space and diving a little bit deeper into the Super Comp Trainer. Again, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is this massive stack height. You look at it and there is a lot of cushioning underfoot. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the most cushioned shoe New Balance has ever created. What are we looking at as far as stack heights go and why did you choose to go up this high? You're right, it is the highest stack height New Balance shoe we've ever made. Um, we did a lot of work, this, this shoe has come from our, our innovation team, and we did a lot of work with our sports research lab to understand almost how high is too high. We did a lot of work to understand how we could continue to maximize energy return without getting to a point that someone can't run around a corner anymore or feels like they might fall off the platform. And I think where we're at right now at 47 millimeters is really us having a look at where we felt we could maximize the stack height and therefore the energy storage and return while still maintaining the correct level of stability on the platform to allow a broad swath of tempo running users to be able to use the, the Supercomp trainer. Yeah, and I think I remember you gave me a very, very early prototype of this shoe. And the first thing you told me was, it's gonna take a little bit of a couple strides. It's gonna take a couple miles to really get a feel for what this shoe feels like, because it is very different than anything else that you've probably ever ran in. And I noticed that when I got it on my feet, I took me a couple strides, I got in the rhythm, and then finally, once it clicked, it clicked and you could feel that responsiveness. You could feel that smooth ride. I'm really, really excited about this, but it's not just the stack height. We also got to talk about the midsole material. What kind of fuel cell are we using here? Yeah, so just maybe one second back to your commentary. You know, I feel like we heard that consistently from our athletes that were part of our initial wear testing on the shoe and all through the wear test process that there was, there was a bedding in period, right? It was on the more unique side of the spectrum. The benefits were truly real. It just took a little bit of time for people to become accustomed to them and really get a serious amount of pleasure out of this shoe. And I think that's what comes with trying to do something really unique and special. In terms of the midsole, you know, there's two things I want to talk about. Firstly, that we're introducing a new proprietary technology for New Balance known as Energy Arc. Again, coming directly from our, our innovation team, we've created a new shape to our carbon fiber plate, which has a camber in the midfoot to allow the carbon fiber to flex and move and uh, store energy. And then secondly, this big midsole void. So you can imagine that the void um, in the midsole as well as the carbon fiber plate working together to maximize energy storage and maximize energy return. In terms of the actual fuel cell compound, it's a good question because 
we use multiple compounds within the Freshform platform to try and create different experiences for the end user. This is not exactly the same compound that exists in the SC Elite. It's the same compound that we've used in shoes like the TC and the 5280 previously. And one of the reasons we chose it is that it's just a little bit denser than the supercritical foam in the fuel cell RC Elite. And by making it a little bit denser, it's just provided a little bit of additional stability um, for what is such a high platform shoe. Well, Danny, it's really interesting to hear about this new Energy Arc design. I think there are going to be some pretty amazing performance benefits for athletes. But the real question is, being a shoe that kind of took over for the TC, do you find that this is going to be a perfect setup for race day, for workouts, or for daily training? I think the answer to that is a little bit in the middle, depending on the consumer. We believe that the setup for this shoe is going to be fantastic in a training and a racing environment for an everyday consumer. And then as you think about a professional athlete, a little bit more focused on the training side. And I think as you look through the rest of the fuel cell collections and certainly the super comp collections as they come out in 2022, we will be addressing and tweaking and changing not only the midsole setups, but the plate setups to try and address those different use cases for those different consumer sets. What do you think are gonna be the main benefits that a competitive athlete will get out of a shoe like the SC Trainer? Through the midsole setup and the Energy Arc technology, we are seeing more energy storage and more energy return out of the Supercom Trainer than any other shoe in the New Balance line. What we're hearing from our athletes is that is greatly benefiting them in a training environment, as well as their ability to keep going the next day and to train more frequently and to train at a higher level based on the performance that they're getting out of the shoe. And I'm gonna keep saying it, to train, to train, to train. Right, because at the end of the day, that's what it's really all about. You can run fast on race day, but you can't get there unless you put in the miles day in and day out as you're leading up to race day. So I feel like this is going to be a shoe that a lot of top athletes are going to add in to their daily training and workout day lineup. Now, let's move on down to the outsole. We don't have anything too crazy. We've got some rubber strips, fairly thin. We've got that exposed plate we were already talking about. Can you give us a little bit more insights on what went into the outsole and potentially what this little strip is poking out here? Yeah, you know, we don't want the carbon fiber to shatter, right? So um, all through the wear testing, this is naturally a, a weak spot for us. If you were standing on a stone or something like that, um, it can pierce the carbon fiber and shatter. And that individual rubber piece there is really just to protect the carbon fiber where it gets closest to the ground. You know, what we wanna do in, in a shoe like this, and we know weight is so important in this category, is really make sure that we are being as minimal as possible while still maintaining the durability that this person requires in, a, in an up-tempo training shoe. And that's why right now the rubber, the rubber looks kind of minimal, but it's providing just enough protection to ensure that the fuel cell foam will last and ultimately that the shoe will last the length of time that the consumer demands. Perfect. Now, finishing this shoe off, we got to talk about the upper and just looking at it, it looks very breathable, pretty thin, but you always want to balance the lightweight design while also having enough support to be able to last through some of those daily miles to go those longer distances. What went into the upper design on the SC Trainer? Especially at 47 millimeters, right? So almost more than anything, we need to make sure that the structure's there to ensure that this user is gonna stay on the platform um, when they really are putting putting this, this shoe through its paces. So I definitely think it's that combination that you mentioned between maximizing breathability and, and functionality but also just ensuring that there's the correct level of support for this user, you know, particularly as they start to get tired or they, they start to do more work in a shoe of this nature. It does have a gusset, which I know a lot of wear testers do or don't like, depending on who you are. But I also think that the gusset in this shoe is just providing an additional element of structure in, in, in what is ultimately a pretty lightweight package from an upper standpoint. Yeah, and I'll, I'll agree, as I ran in this shoe, you are so high up off the ground and that containment of your foot is so important. You don't wanna feel wobbly, you don't wanna feel unstable. You want a shoe that feels natural, but again, has that unique, highly cushioned design that the SC Trainer provides. So I'm extremely excited to run in this more. I'm really excited for the people to get it on their feet because I think there really is very little on the market that is anything close to the performance and cushioning you feel in the SC Trainer. If you're looking to get this shoe on your feet, it's available now. You can find it here at Running Warehouse. Hey, Danny, just between you and me, is this shoe gonna be legal? You heard me say train, 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 right? No comment.